Fine, go ahead. Okay, great. Um, well, Senator Baucus, uh, obviously it's been a pretty busy couple of weeks on the health care front. Um, there was some uh, action in your uh, committee with some uh, uh, supporters of single payer who uh, were there basically asking for a seat at the table. And so I guess I have a cu couple questions about that. Um, and so I'll just, I guess I'll just start. In, uh, in 2003, uh, when Senator Barack Obama, well, then candidate Barack Obama was running for the Senate, he said there's no reason why the United States, the richest nation in the world, can't provide single payer health care for its people. Uh, he said that the obstacle to instituting single payer was for Democrats to take back the Senate and the White House. Well, that's happened, and now you, as chairman of the Senate Finance Committee, um, refuse to allow single payer advocates to sit at the table as your committee discusses ways to pay for a new health care system. Why not let single payer be a part of the discussion when polls show that Americans support it? Um, when Barack Obama was a candidate, he said he supported it. Why not at least let it be part of the discussion? Well, um, uh, first of all, we clearly must reform our, our health care system because it's, it's, it's a, not shambles, but um, if it's not corrected, it will soon be in shambles. We have great health care in America. We're, we're proud of our health care in America. I, most Americans um, like the health care they have. Most Americans like the doctors they have. Most Americans like the health insurance they have. And um, but the goal here is to get a, a control over costs and also to reform the health insurance industry, um, uh, especially uh, where... Um, for, for individuals who try to get health insurance, for small businesses that can't get health insurance for their employees, um, and it's because for individuals and for uh, for smaller companies, not big business, but smaller companies, um, states um, allow insurance companies to discriminate uh, against um, uh, people based on a prior pre-existing pre condition or based upon health status. It's just wrong. It's not right. And um, I'm doing all I can, and I think we'll be quite successful in, quote, reforming the health insurance industry so that that discrimination no longer exists. It just rot. There's a lot of bad health insurance that's offered in this country, and uh, we're, I, I and many of us are doing what we can to stop that. Now, um, I, I think to, to be successful here, we have to, to somewhat work with what we have, but, um, work with changing the system that, we Americans, we Americans, are, are, are know and are and are comfortable with, rather than some uh, major change that's, uh, that would disrupt Americans uh, in a way that most Americans don't want to be disrupted. The um, uh, President Obama does not favor single pay. He's made that very clear. Uh, President Obama would like to build on the current system. He said so many times. Um, he wants um, the uh, uh, to. Continue uh, that the basis of insurance, of health insurance in America, which is employer based, employer provided. In America, more than any other country, people get their health insurance through their employers. Um, uh, President Obama wants to continue that, and he said so many times. Why not? Why not at least let them take part in the discussion, though? I mean, if America, if we're well, talking I'm, about reforming the health care system, why not allow single payer to come in, have the debate publicly, and let Americans decide for themselves whether or not they think single payer is a good idea, whether or not they want something more of a private public partnership or if they want to keep the insurance industry the way it is. Why not have that debate and open it up to the American people? Well, <laughs> um, it's, um, basically we are. In fact, I'm meeting with uh, advocates of the single pay uh, system um, have in Washington, and I'm in Montana right now, and we'll be soon meeting with, with them in Montana and try and schedule a, a very good time where it could be a very good uh, meeting where it could be very well attended. Who will you be meeting with? Uh, well, don't get too don't get too confrontational here. No, I'm, I'm, I'm with, just asking who you're meeting with. So yeah, I, well, you know, the tone of your voice is, is very telling. Um, it's a meeting with basic single pay groups in Montana. I don't know the names, um, but uh, we're meeting with them. And also, let me, it's, I've got to use the best, we've got to reform our system um, fairly quickly. And to be candid with you, very few people in Washington, members of the House and Senate, advocate single pay 
the vast, vast, vast majority do not. It's, um, it's. Uh, I don't know. If any, I don't know if a single. I may be wrong on this next point. I don't know if a single pay bill has been introduced in the Senate. I think there may be some in the House, but I don't know if any of the Senate. I could be wrong on that, and I'll have to double check and see. I, I think you're right on that. I know there's HR 676 in the House, but I don't know of any. I don't think, I don't think in the Senate, and that, that's that's going to tell you something. And um, it uh, tells me that if I go down that road, um, it's not going to be successful. It's not going to pass. It's not going to pass the Congress. And um, and I've got to use the the resources that we have, the time we have, in the best way possible to reform our system as well as we possibly can. And uh, and as the, the and, and don't forget when the president says something, that's important. If he doesn't want a single pay system, that is not insignificant. That has a very, very strong effect on the Congress, on how when he what he wants. Um, and that's I'm sure that's an awful lot of it right there as to why there are no bills introduced in the Senate, at least not this far. Um, I forgot forgot my main point here. It's um, we um, uh, um, it's just we're, we're, we do have. Um, on our so-called options, uh, the public option, which is similar to single pay. And that's hey, Max, I'm sorry to interrupt here, but you have a, another incoming call. Can, okay, can we reschedule this? No, 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 I'll finish this. I'll finish this. Just until I call it away, hold off. It's just we have a public option on the table. Um, it's um, it's one of the one of the so-called coverage options, and it's public. It's public option. It's it'd be similar to single pay. And that's being discussed. That's being debated. That's um, it's just right there on the. We'll send you a copy of of, of our options. We we, we uh, discussed this at the finance committee yesterday, and it's it's number one, which is Medicaid. Excuse me, Medicare like separate government entity, which a public plan. First option to go into it, and it's 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 virtually the same as a single pay system. So that's we are, and I put that in there, and then there, and there are various versions of that. There's a next one that's Medicare. They call well, which it's called level playing field. There's, there are four or five options under the public option, but one that is being seriously considered as a pure public option, uh, which is a pure government plan. So the fact matters, we are. We're considering it very strongly. 